Hello and good day to all of you. Now we will uh, uh, solve some problems on uh, electrical transients. So let us uh, read first the first problem. Okay, this is the first problem. A coil of 15 Henry inductance and a 10 ohm resistance is suddenly connected to a 20 volt DC source by closing a switch. We need to compute for the energy stored in the magnetic field two seconds after the closing of the switch. Okay, now this problem is an RL series transient circuit with a DC source. So, this is the category here. So, we already described the formulas and we already have derived them, all of them. So, the solution here is simply equal to I is equal to E all over R, 1 minus E raised to negative R all over L times T. So this is the uh, the, uh, the uh, equation for the transient current. So we also describe here the energy stored or WL. So the energy stored is 1 half Li squared. So since we have an RL series circuit and we have a switch, so there's a transient. So, our main goal is to get the transient current first and then substitute it to the work done. Work done is also energy stored. Okay, so since we already have all of the given, so just substitute it in this equation here. So, we have 20 over 10, 1 minus E raised to 10 all over 15 times 2. Okay, so it will become 1.4928 amperes. So, substituting... Uh, L is equal to 15 and I or transient I current as 1.47 to uh, 288. This is in terms of five decimal places. Then you squared then one half. Our answer here for this problem is 16.268 joules. Hi and good day to all of you. Now we will continue our lesson on electrical transient in terms of problem solving so we have two problems here so as you can see we can combine both problems because the solutions are uh, are simply are simple rather okay let's uh, read the problem first problem number two a series RL DC circuit has 100 ohms resistance inductance of 0.1 and E equal to 100 volts the switch is closed at a time equal to zero. We need to find the time constant of the circuit in second. Okay, uh, problem number two is very clear that the circuit is an RL series circuit. So we already described the prob uh, the uh, time constant from the previous slides on our fundamentals. So, it, this, if this is um, an RL series circuit, the time constant is simply L all over R. L in, in Henry, R in ohms. So, if you divide L all over R, you can now get the time constant. So, in this problem, time constant T is equal to 0.1 all over, all over 10. The answer for this problem is 0 0.01 seconds. So, very, very simple problem. Okay. Let's move forward further to problem number three. So I'll read the problem uh, on problem number three. So referring to the last problem, which is problem number two, we need to find the voltage drop across L at the time is equal to zero in volts. So this is correlated actually, problem two and problem three. Uh, we need to get EL in this problem and we still have the RL series circuit. So this is the um, uh, circuit here. You have an E, you have a switch. Because of the switch, you have a transient I, you have the resistance, you have the L inductor, then you have ER and EL. Our main goal here is to get e EL at time is equal to zero. So the in, the, in our initial condition, as the switch will open, the initial condition is I is equal to zero at time is equal to zero. Now, if you apply KVL again, this from the derivation, if you are uh, familiar on, uh, on the derivation part, so KVL is equal to E, EL plus ER. 
But EL is LDIDT. But ER is Y ohms law I times R. So it will become zero because you open the switch. However, when you're talking about uh, inductor, it depends on the differential of the current. So it will not be zero. Okay, in this case, uh, LDIDT is EL. So our main, our main goal here is to get whatever the voltage E here, which is equal to EL. And the answer is 100 volts. So again, as I mentioned from our previous lesson, in order to solve problems, you need to know first the basic fundamentals. We take many precious times there or the precious time on derivation or the derivation of uh, this equation. So please master it. And if you already know the principle, you can solve any problems. Enjoy, solve problems. Uh, enjoy solving problems. So we will go to problem number four. Okay, let's move forward to problem number four. Okay, um, this is another simple problem on electrical transient. An RL series transient circuit, which is has a value of L is equal to 0.2 Henry and an R equal to 40 ohms, is connected to a 60 volt DC source at time is equal to zero. We need to find the rate of change of the current at time is equal to zero in ampere per second. Actually, number four is a board exam problem. And our main goal is to get the change of current which is with respect to time t. So meaning in differential calculus, this is with respect to time, we need to get the IL over DT in the problem. I will not draw the circuit anymore because we already have those discussions on the last previous slide. By the way, I forgot to mention on on, uh, uh, on, the, on the video that you can download the problems on the uh, description uh, description page of this video. So from the description there, just click the button and you will get uh, the uh, link or Google Drive document format for the problems and supplementary problems. Okay, go back here. So we have an RL series circuit at transient condition, or initial condition time, at time is equal to zero, I is equal to zero, the switch is open. So the solution is simply, we go back on problem number three, we already analyze that E is equal to EL plus ER and ER is zero, so E is equal to EL. So EL is LDIDT. So E is equal to EL, which is equal to LDIL over DT. Now our main goal is to get DIL over DT and E and L is already defined on the problem. So DIL over DT is 60 all over 0.2. The answer is 300 ampere per second. So a very, very simple problem. Hi to all of you. Now, Let's move forward to our next few problems here. I uh, integrated problem 5 and 6 like uh, problems 2 and 3 because the solution is very simple for these uh, uh, problems. Okay, first of which is we need to read first problem number 5. So this is problem number 5. A 10 microfarad uncharged capacitor is charged from a 100 volt DC supply through a series resistance of 1000 ohms find the time constant of the circuit in seconds okay problem number five in order to solve this one so we, we need to know uh, what is the type of uh, circuit so the type of circuit is an rc series circuit so if we recall from our fundamentals that the time constant for a series circuit is simply equal to RC. Just multiply resistance by capacitor in farad and ohms, you can now get the time constant in seconds. So this is 1000 ohms and 10 micro. The answer is 0 0.01 second. Chipips kapatid. Again, the problem is very simple as long as you know the principle and the formula. 
Okay, as I mentioned, problem five and six are correlated, so let's move forward to problem number six. Referring to the last problem, which is problem number five, we need to find the time taken in seconds for the capacitor voltage, which is EC, to reach 80% of its 80% of its final value. Okay, it means that 80% of final value. So when you say final value, it reaches steady state. So it reaches the battery voltage E. So for this, go back to the equation of E C is equal to E 1 minus E raised to negative T all over RC. And since the problem needs an 80% of the final value, so it is 0.8 of the final value, which is E. So E will cancel out. And then 1 minus E raised to T all over 1,000 ohms and 10, and 10 micro. Now, it is looks firm because this one is simply your time constant. Okay? So what happens is your RC here becomes 0.1, leaving behind only one parameter that is left. That is T. Okay, by the way, there's no E here because the E is already cancelled. Now, you can now get T here by having the loan at both sides, a little bit of algebra to get time t okay for this you will be the one who will practice this one okay you can use shift solve the answer for the time is 1.6 millisecond or 0 0.016 seconds hello let's solve our last problem for electrical transients which is problem number seven so let's read the problem first before we uh, uh solve the problem a series rlc circuit has a r is equal to 10 l is equal to 1 henry and c is equal to 0 0.0625 farad and if the source voltage is 24 volts tc then what is the case or what is the type of the circuit so when you say type of the circuit or what type of circuit is on an rlc series dc transient we need to know or you need to recall the uh, type of the cases that we have discussed on basic fundamental we have the undamp over damp critically damp and over damp so under damp over damp critically damp and undamp so you have four and it depends on the characteristic phase equation that we have already uh, uh, mentioned on the uh, dc rlc transient series circuit Okay, number seven is an RLC series circuit and DC excitation. So, the solution is, let us uh, recall the test case equation. That is what R over twice L squared. And you have a question mark because we did not know what will be the result. That is equal, greater than, and less than. Very obvious, this is not undamped simply because the resistance is not zero. And then one over LC. Substituting all of the formulas here, and we have a question mark, which is we do not know what will be the result. So 10 all over 2 squared, we have 25, very obvious, and 1 all over 0 0.0625, the answer is 16. 25 is greater than 16, and hence the circuit is an overdamp case. So as you can see, the premise on these tranches is very, very uh, uh, simple. So as long as you know the principle, the formula, and how it goes, you can solve the problems. Our next uh, lesson is AC circuits, so alternating, cir uh, alternating circuits. So don't, uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Just hit the subscribe button on the right side of the page. And thank you very much for all of the support. Again, maraming pong salamat.